Right, okay, what we're going to do in this flow while is use some variables, um, which I'll show you how to. Now, the mimic we're going to use is the one called, um, right, it's down there, it's the ba -ba 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 -ba, big wheel. Okay, so we use the big wheel. Uh, click OK on that. And you can see we've got our big Ferris wheel there. Make it a bit bigger if you want to. There we go. Okay, now we can control various parts of this. If you click on show, you've got the wheel, you've got the colors on the side, the lights, uh, you've got the steps, you've got the gates, we've got two buttons down here which we are going to use. Now, to use variables in flow wall, you've got this little button at the top here, the X, Y. So if you click on X and Y, you can see it's created two variables, one of them called X and one of them called Y. Now, that's not very helpful. Um, we want to make sure it's something a bit more useful to us. So we're going to do. I'm going to click on this little icon to next bit. I'm going to change it to the word count, like so. Now the other one, I'll do that now. This is if you're going to be doing the extension work, but you might as well set it up now so you know what to do. So this one here, we're going to change that one. I'm going to call it lights. There you go. So we created two variables called count and lights. Um, I'd say if you're going to be the extension work, you'll be using lights. Uh, if not, you're going to be using count. Right, so over in Flow well, what we're going to do, we're going to get our start uh, symbol at the top here. So right at the top, and that's going to be our start symbol. Um, now, a bit of health and safety. What we're going to do, we're going to use one of our selection or decision blocks here, uh, like that. And this is going to be for the gate. Okay, so is gate on? Okay, and we're going to have that there. This is really just to make sure that the gate's shut before we do anything else. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. So this bit here, when it says let, this is where we can use our variables that we've used over here or created over here. So I'm going to click on let. I'm going to put that down there. Um, and you can see it says, okay, we've got counts, we've got lights. I'm going to use the counts. Um, I'm going to set my count to a number and it's going to be equal to zero, like so. So let count equal zero. So basically we're just setting up our variable, okay, storing at the very beginning of our program zero, okay. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to use our decision block again, so we're going to get a decision symbol, pull that out. Um, this is going to be for our button, which you can see down here, so we're going to choose what happens when one of these buttons is pressed? We're going to choose button one. So is button one on? Click OK there. And you can see uh, we've got our decision. Now then, if it is on, what we're going to do, we're going to change the count. So what we're going to do, we're going to back to our let symbol. Put that just underneath. Now what we're going to do is count is going to be equal to count which at the start is, is zero, and then we're just going to add one on each time, like this here, so one. And it says let count equals count plus one. So all I'm doing is seeing what the number in count is in our variable, and then adding one onto it. We'll see how that works in a minute, but we'll leave it like that for now. So count equals count plus one. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check because what we want to do is we want the, the Ferris wheel to stop going round when it gets to a certain number. So our decision is going to be is count uh, equal to, I'm going to get a number and let's go with 100. Okay, okay. like that. So is our count equal to 100? Okay, if it is, we're going to stop it. If not, we're going to carry on, and by carrying on means we're going to turn our Ferris wheel around, Oop, like that. The wheel is going to be going forward, and it's put the power at, I don't know, 50% or something like that. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. So I've got all my little, little parts to it. Obviously, I need to connect everything up and test and see if it works. So I'm going to start one. Oh, don't need that. I need my line tool. So I click on start. That's going to go to gate. Okay. Uh, is gate on? Yes. Okay. In other words, is it shut? We're going to go through to this bit. If it's not, 
you can see it's got the no i'm just going to click back on the same diamond gate on and you can see it just goes around like that and it's going to keep going around until it's uh it's basically turned on so count equals zero so using my variable and then i'm going to go through to this decision is button one pressed there was a pattern of a press button one um and if it does do that we're going to come through to the next bit which is going to change our counter is it on yes uh, i'm going to go through to let count equals count plus one if it's going to be a no again i'm going to go no i'm going to click on the same shape and it just goes around again so you can see we've got two parts where we're making decisions in this code here so far and then i'm going to go down to let count equals um, count plus one click on that that's going to go through to count equals uh, 100 so if it is we're going to go and do something if not we're going to carry on and turn so like this here okay obviously i need to loop that back round again okay so i wanted to get back to this bit here where it's saying well is it you know is button pressed one yes okay it's on but i need to get the counter moving and moving and moving so what i'm going to do if i just come around uh, and go back up to that one there you've got this structure here okay so let me just see if we can just test this at this point will it allow me so i'm going to go down to my play okay so you can see it's saying is the gate on and it's just going around and around so i know the gate is not shut in other words so if i were to go up here and shut that gate now okay you can see it's come down to this decision here so is button one on at the minute it's off so if i start if i press button one at the top here you should right you can see it's going through it's running through each part of that code there oops that's because i haven't added something into this bit so it's showing i've got an error in my code so what i'm going to do is going to finish that off uh, so we can run it through properly so at this point here i'm going to have an output which is basically going to say wheel off like that and obviously i need something to finish the whole thing off stop and that's got to keep these last things up so is count equals 100 if it is yes this turn the wheel off and then that's going to run through to our stop there i'm going to cl click and drag oh hopefully i can click and drag oh is it not going to let me do that you can generally, I think if it gets too big, i.e. because like the flowchart can get bigger and bigger, you can move things out of the way. So you usually just click and drag and move them out of the way. Right, so we've got all the blocks in place, all the elements to our algorithm, our program. So let's run that through again. So let's turn the gate off like that. So we start it. Is the gate on? That's our first decision or our first condition. There we go. Now it's going to run through. Is button on? Our counter, and you can see over here, it's at zero. Now, if I were to change this, now if I turn on button one, what you'll see is the counter going up in ones and the program running through. Okay, does it very quickly. You might want to change it, just to maybe a different number. So, is the button on? Okay, we press the button on, it's going to come down here. It's going to add one onto our variable. And we'll see that over here on the right hand side. Then it's going to come through. Is count equals 100? Well, if it's not, it's going to keep turning. It's going to keep turning until this is true and the wheel is turned off and the program stops. Okay. So you've got some questions to answer in your OneNote. I want you to screenshot what you've done here uh, and you're going to label up things in your OneNote. Once you've done that and you've got the extension task to do, the changes is going to be at this point here. So if you look at the PDF that I've given you in your OneNote, we're going to change it at this point here when we click yes. I'm going to use our lights variable that we've already created. 